In this episode, you're going to learn how to properly read and write files in Java with its path API. I prepared an empty Maven skeleton project with an empty paths test class. And as we need some files to experiment on, let's create a new folder inside our project. Call it windows slash versions slash 10. And that creates a small folder hierarchy as well as create a license.txt on the Windows folder level, which you can give some content like, hello, this is our grand license. Now we go to our test class and create a new test, call it path exists. And note, whenever I say path in this episode, you can translate that to file in your head. And just in case you're wondering, File was the old API before Java 7 to access files, and Path is the new API to access files starting from Java 7. So let's copy the path to the license.txt file into our test. And you can see the Windows backslashes here to C, Dev, Files, and so forth. And then we can simply wrap that string with a call to paths.get extract that to a variable and that gives us a reference to our file and even better yet we can simply call files.exists on our path which should return yes because the file exists and as we are in a unit test let's simply wrap that with an assert that call and we should be good to go but wait there's actually more let me just quickly duplicate these lines and then replace the backslashes with forward slashes, like so. And that should also work, because Java actually allows me to use forward slashes even on file systems that have backslashes, like Windows. And then I duplicate the lines again, as we could also specify the path like so, paths get C, then dev, then files, then windows, then license txt. So the whole path consists of separate strings. And last but not least, we just duplicate the lines again. And then I could simply get the windows directory, like so, call resolve on it, and put the license txt string as a parameter into the resolve method. And you can simply translate resolve with get child in your head. Now, all the four paths reference the same file. So as the file exists, our test should be green. Let's run it. And yep, in fact, our test is green. Great. Now that we know how to reference a path, Let's create another test, call it can read path, then copy and paste our path line from the test above, which is operating system independent. So the one with the forward slashes. And then there's a couple of ways to read in a file like ours, but I'll show you the simplest one in this episode. We write string file content equals new string, then files, dot read all bytes, and put in our path, which will simply turn our path into bytes, and those bytes into a string. And then we need a line, assert that file content is equal to, and then we simply copy and paste the file content from our license txts, whatever you wrote, into our test. Let's run the test again. And our test is green. Good, but actually we're missing something. Let's try something out. When we open up the file again, we can see that it is UTF-8 encoded. So let's add a couple of German umlauts or any sort of special character, and then convert our file to some other encoding, like the ISO-88591 encoding. Also make sure to copy 
that new line to the clipboard, go back to our test class and replace the expected string. So now when we run our test again, it actually fails. And you can even see some weird characters printed out in the console. That's because when our string gets constructed, Java chooses the default system encoding, which on my machine is UTF-8. And that's wrong in this case, because we're obviously dealing with an ISO encoded file. So to be 100% sure that things work, we need to specify the proper encoding when reading in files. And you can do that in the string constructor, for example. So let's write standard char sets dot ISO 88591. Run our test again. And this time it works. Great. Let's finish up with writing files. So simply copy and paste the retest, rename it to can write. Maybe rename the path to readme.txt or something. And then instead of reading in the file content, we write files.write, readme, which is our path we're going to write to, then a string, what is going on, put in some umlauts, and then call get bytes on the string, because again, we're writing bytes, not the string itself. And that means we have to specify a charset, like ISO 88591. And then the test should simply read, assert that, files exists, read me, and we run our test again. The file got created in the file tree on the left. And when we open up the file, you can even see it has the correct file encoding, the one we specified, ISO 88591. So the main takeaway is to always make sure to have the correct encoding when writing or reading files. Congratulations, you now know how to read and write files in Java with the proper encoding. And in the next episode, we'll have a look at moving and deleting files, which has a couple of quirks you might not know about. So let's get right after it.